What's up you guys, it's Rob here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about ticker symbol GME. We're gonna be going it over on the daily, weekly, and monthly time frame in anticipation for tomorrow's price action, April Fool's Day. Greatest day of the year. Y'all gotta to remember to play a prank on someone or something like that, but if y'all like playing pranks and all that kind of stuff, do me a favor and hit that like button, take it from that gray and turn it into a blue. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button, Ring that bell for the YouTube algorithm so this video can get out to more people and they can see it. So greatly appreciate it, guys. And then down below, I also have a link to the a link to this beautiful platform that I've been using. It's called Weeble. And it's a free platform that you can do. It's free to sign up for the account. You get one free stock when you sign up, and then you get another free stock when you deposit $100 on the platform. And those two free stocks can be valued anywhere between $8 and $1,850. Anyways pitch over let's go on hop on in the chart for GameStop for the day so really wasn't the greatest day for GameStop I mean we did finish down for the day we were almost down 2.5 percent and we definitely if you look at GameStop and you look at AMC's charts really we can look at these back the back you can see really that both of them kind of almost mimic each other in a way so there might have been some manipulation going on with the stock today i don't know personally if you have some information feel free to drop it down in the comment section below and help me learn and get my ddd better so anyways off of the rip in the morning we just sold off and we dipped the great part about this is once again we didn't touch our our support of 172 and yesterday i believe we only got down the 182 and today we only got down the 187 so we're really making higher lows which is a good thing for the stock and that shows that we're getting that tighter consolidation within this channel and when we're getting this tighter consolidation what we're just doing is we're dropping our iv and we're making the stock more attractive to those who are looking to get into it and trying to establish a position within the stock now, yesterday I drew out this um, little chart here. I drew two lines on my chart here of the channel that we were pretty much trading, which was between 185 and 192. For pretty much most of the day, we respected the upper end of this channel, which is actually really the upper bound of this channel and not the upper end of it. The upper bound of this channel, which is really good. And we did bounce off of it a couple of times. We did do some consolidation but the great part was is it almost is starting to look like a new support here at 192 is forming um currently we did break down through it at the end of the day so it is going to be a technically a resistance level but really looking at it here on the one one minute was we did respect it for a good amount of the day which is really good for the stock and when we were respecting it for the whole entire period we really didn't touch oversold and we touched it once but i mean most of the time we had a good period of consolidation for literally almost the whole entire day we had a from pretty much 11 to what two three almost we had consolidation in this channel which is actually really good which is dropping iv it's resetting the rsi it's making the macd down here actually really happy and it's not getting overextended or anything like that. So let's go ahead here and hop out to the five day, five minute chart to take a look at it. So that channel becomes a little bit more visible now that we were draw drawing. So really this was the 172 resistant, uh, 172 support that we bounced off of here on the 26 and we actually when we dipped below it and then bounced off of it and then bounced off of it again. So we tested it twice. So. The great part is, is yesterday, if you see, we traded essentially down the 182. Today, we traded down the 187. So we are moving in an upward direction. Granted, it is a slower movement, but we're making these slow moves and we're creating that staircase so we can move upwards. Now, really with tomorrow, what I'm going to be looking for it, with contracts expiring and it being April and all that kind of stuff, I'm almost thinking April is a very bullish month within the market. So I'm almost wondering if we're going to be kind of 
making a move hopefully and i want us to make that move and retest 198 we didn't get a chance today to test our resistance there at 198 and the psychological resistance of 200 i mean we did i i mean we you can say we almost tested it here but we really didn't close a candle above it we didn't close a candle on it or at it or any of those kind of things so in my technical eyes i don't view as that we tested that but really you can see here on the five minute we tested oversold right on that and these large candles really give me a feeling that this isn't people selling the stock because if people were selling the stock they would be the volume would be so much higher the volume today we had 8.39 million shares traded 8.39 our average volume is 44.61 over the past three months so we're at a fifth of our volume and we are holding our price action like this what this tells me is a lot of these have to be short waves like this massive candle here has to be a short wave i can't confirm it i don't have sources that can confirm it but to me the fact that our volume is so low and we're getting massive candles like this and then we're getting candles that are just literally buying it back up and we're getting back above these support levels just shows me that anytime that people get the opportunity we're just buying the dip and we're holding on to the share and what we're doing is we're exhausting the hedge funds of all the shorts that they can do and just burning them out of money which is great and you know what's great too when you smash that like button for the youtube algorithm and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for me but anyways <laughs> i'm sorry i had to do that but let's go ahead here and hop out to the one month and let's do the 30 minute really when i take a look at this I, i'm still seeing a really healthy chart and you can see that we're making that upwards movement Yet, granted it's not a harsh upwards movement but when we're making these slow gradual upwards movements like it's going to be healthy for it and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to trade i'm going to draw a trend line from our from down here come on weeble give me a give me my trend line so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a trend line from down here up to where we currently are so i gotta hit that and when we draw trend lines, remember, we want to hit at least three points on our trend line. So really, the huge thing that I want to do is I'm going to extend it. I'm going to, yeah. So when we take a look at this, we want to respect our trend lines. And you can see that we are moving in this upward direction and we are respecting these trend, line, these trend lines. So let's even zoom out even here even more. You can see the trend line that I just drew is we're respecting this so what we have to keep our eyes on and keep our mind focused on is the slow incremental growth yeah we're not going up 50 percent days like we did like we had i think it was on thursday but making the slow growth is going to be good for us and we want to have that slow growth and without and with exponential growth like we had on thursday no one's going to want to buy an options contract no one and what we want is we want people buying the options contract and having interest continue in the stock. So what I'm going to be looking forward to tomorrow, I'm going to be looking for us to once again hold, try to turn this 192 level in the support so we have a new higher support and then retest 198. I feel like I'm saying this every single day, but it's true. I want us to retest 198 and break through that resistance level, hold it for a respectable period of time. And me... A respectable period of time is candles closing above it on the five minute and 30 minute time frames if we can get a candle closing above it on the four hour phenomenal kind of thing that is in my eyes it's a very good support unless if we break through it later in the day kind of thing so but taking a look here at the one month and then taking a look at the rsi and the macd we're still holding it pretty tight we're just above equilibrium here about to go back below so a, technically a bearish indicator on the equilibrium but really i'm not going to be terribly concerned about it because it's really taking in effect the after hours price action so and we are up in the after hours to 190 70 so it's a good thing but the RSI here is sitting at 47, so we're sitting below neutral, which is a good thing. So overall, 
price prediction tomorrow is going to be hopefully we can get to 198 i would love for us to hold 198 and hopefully retest 200 as that psychological support really i am aiming and really hoping that we can close at 198 or above tomorrow that would be phenomenal if we could do that and give us a long extended weekend going into trading action on monday so if you like the video do me a favor hit that like button hit that subscribe button ring the bell join my join we will get this wonderful platform i've absolutely fallen in love with this platform and i'm continuing to improve my technical analysis here on the platform and understanding it more but it's a great platform it's completely free you get one free stock when you sign up and you make an account and then you get another free stock when you deposit a hundred dollars on the platform and then you can get anywhere between eight and one thousand eight hundred fifty dollars if you get anything large let me know down in the comment section so I can drop you a thumbs up and hit, hit a heart and say, great job, guys. But I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.